If you have an itchy rash in your groin like this, you might have jock itch. I'm Dr. Hart Pinto, an actively practicing primary care doctor in the UK, and today I'm going to talk all about jock itch, how to identify it, and the best way to treat it. This is jock itch. It's a common fungal infection that forms a ring-like rash in your groin. Jock itch rash is usually first noticed in the groin crease, but will spread to the inner thighs and the buttocks. The rash is characteristically ring-shaped with a well-defined border. The border can be flaky with scaly skin, and the colour of the rash very much depends on your skin colour. In white skin, the rash is usually red. In darker skin tones, it may be purple, brown or grey. So, if you have a groin rash that looks like this, you probably have jock itch. So why do we get jock itch? Jock itch, also known as tinea cruris, is a fungal infection that thrives in the moist, warm environment of the groin. The rash can easily spread from one person to another through skin-to-skin -skin contact or by sharing contaminated towels or clothing. The name jock itch is originally derived from its common occurrence in sweaty groins of athletes. In addition to athletes, you may be at risk of developing jock itch if you tend to sweat heavily, wear tight-fitting, non-breathable clothing, or have a weakened immune system. Interestingly, the same organism that causes fungal athlete's foot is often responsible for causing jock itch. Moreover, it's possible to transfer the infection from your foot to the groin using your hands or by sharing a towel. So, you need to be careful. How to treat your infection at home? The vast majority of cases of jock itch will clear in one to three weeks with the appropriate creams and good self-care. You can purchase antifungal creams over the counter at your local pharmacy, and the commonly available ones are clotrimazole, known by the brand name Caniston, terbinafin, alamacil, and ketoconazole dactarin. In addition to using these creams, you should follow the following rules. Wear loose-fitting, moisture-wicking clothes made of cotton or breathable materials. Make sure you change your underwear daily. Make sure to wash the affected skin areas daily with warm water and remember to dry the areas thoroughly, especially in the skin folds where moisture can accumulate. Use clean towels and don't share them with anyone else to prevent the spread of infection to others. Wash all towels, clothes and bedding to get rid of fungal spores that may be lurking around. Okay, I've done that, but when should I see my doctor? If you tried the steps that we've just discussed and the over-the-counter creams, but your rash hasn't gone away or it's still spreading, it's time to speak to your doctor. Your doctor should be able to confirm the diagnosis of the rash and may offer an alternative antifungal cream or, in more difficult to treat cases, an oral antifungal tablet. Once treated successfully, Ensure you continue to wear loose fitting clothing, change your underwear daily and avoid sharing towels and clothes. This should reduce your risk of reinfection. Additionally, some people can cross infect themselves with athlete's foot infections. So if you notice any fungal infection of the feet, get it treated quickly to prevent its spread. To help you with this, I'll include a link to our video on athlete's foot infections here and in the video description. I hope you found this video useful. If so, why not share your experience with our community below and subscribe to our channel for more health tips.